Hey guys, so today we're gonna have a little fireside chat because it's about 13 degrees in here and I thought I'd put the fire on, just heat it up a little bit rather than putting the heating on because uh, I'm really cheap like that. But while we're doing that, I thought maybe we could look at some post. I've had some stuff come in, so we're gonna crack a few open and have a nice little fireside post bag opening. Actually, I don't even need that for this one. So I've bought quite a few things that relate to some projects coming up. Uh, and some of them aren't gonna be very exciting, but I thought it might be nice to, to share. So without trying to show my address, we'll be careful not to do that. Uh, we've got a couple of these. These are six A, I can't get the other one out. These are six AA battery holders. Now I wanted to have a look at doing some Raspberry Pi stuff with battery power. And in fact, I think that's what this envelope is here. So let's figure this out. No, that is something else entirely. So these are RGB LEDs and these are, they slowly rotate for you. So you don't have to uh, control them. They slowly rotate through the red, green and blue uh, and all the colors in between as far as I know. So I was gonna use these for some Christmas decorations that we'll be coming up with later on. I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely sure what the, the format will be, but I didn't want to have a microcontroller because you know it's gonna add a lot of space and also it'll require more power than perhaps the LED would even require to run. So we're gonna have a look at that. So those are there. They, I thought they were going to be diodes, honestly. So I'm surprised that they're not. What have we got in, let's just push those to the side. What have we got on this one here? Uh, there'll be links to the d in the description for all of these things, obviously. Nothing else in there, but there's something inside the packet. Ah, oh my God. So these are the diodes. Um, they're not what I thought they were gonna be. <laughs> these are a lot larger than I thought they would be. Um, so these are 10 amp diodes and uh, I thought, well, I don't know what I thought. I've never seen a, a diode that uh, can, is rated for 10 amps. But these are them, so, wow. What I wanted to do was have some power path management using some diodes, a really simple method of power path management. So having a, a battery and also a five volt input. So I'd have the, uh, the output of these put into a five volt regulator, and then I'd have a USB input going to the Pi as well. And you'd use power path management, a couple of diodes, and it would use the higher voltage. So I would have a slightly lower voltage coming from the battery, something like 4.8 versus the five volts. And the 4.8 is just within Raspberry Pi spec, but uh, it, would just sign it would just tell the Raspberry Pi to then shut down. Um, I didn't expect them to be so massive. Uh, <laughs> oh well, let's move on. So actually, let's have a look at something a bit larger. So, God, this is difficult to see. So I've got a box here that I 3D printed. And the idea is that it would be a speaker cube. So we've got two speakers on either side and they slot together uh, just on top of each other like that. Hopefully relatively smoothly. So I designed it fairly well. Well, maybe not. We've got holes in all of the sides around the top, bottom and sides of the box. And this was for some sensors. Uh, I was gonna use LD an LDR on each one of these holes to create a box that you could pop down and then rotate and wherever there was no light, so wherever it sat on the desk, it knew what direction it was up. I was gonna use an accelerometer, but honestly, I just wanted to go for a bit of a cheaper method uh, using a Raspberry Pi as the audio streaming device inside the box. Now, <laughs> it turns out it's a little bit more difficult than that because a Raspberry Pi doesn't have um, an analog input. So I'm gonna to have to get something like a, I think it's an MCP3008, which is an analog to digital converter, but they're single channels. So I might use a Raspberry Pi and then um, just ping some high or lows on some pins just to 
uh, signify which way is down. And that way I'll be able to play some music uh, depending on which orientation it is. So it's going to be a radio, a, an internet streaming radio with on each one of these faces it would have it's very dark, isn't it? Each one of these faces, it would have the name of a radio station. And so the opposing face would be the one that triggered that radio station to, uh, to play. Uh, and with that in mind, I thought I might use the Raspberry Pi Zero. Realized it didn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack to get the audio out. And I have to create my own circuit using PWM on a couple of GPIOs, but I did do a bit of a Google search on the internet and I bought one of these. This is a HDMI to VGA adapter. Now I'm not interested in the VGA, I am interested in the HDMI. Uh, and the fact that this has a 3.5 millimeter line out on it means that I can just pull audio straight from this. Now it's a little bit chunkier than I'd like and probably the circuit from the PWM pins would be better I think the audio quality on the HDMI line will probably be better than me just trying to figure out a circuit, I think. So we're going to try and use that. Or I might use a Raspberry Pi A plus instead of the zero. It also comes with a 3.5 millimeter cable, which is nice. Is that mono or is that stereo? That's a stereo cable. Next up, I picked up a few of these. Um, you'll have seen them before, no doubt. Uh, it's not something I've ever picked up before. So these are EL wires, so electroluminescent wires. I've got uh, a few different kinds. Have I got some batteries to put in these? I probably do. So let's pop some in here so you can see them going. Now, electroluminescent wire has to be driven via an inverter. So it has to be driven with an, I think it's AC. So it's something like 100 volts. Uh, very difficult to see. If I flash it, you can see that. Uh, but because the light in here, in fact, if I just turn this off, maybe it'll be, there we go. Isn't that cool? Let's see if there's another one I can turn on. And I think I've got another one here. Let's see if I can put this one at the same time. This is fun. I don't know if you can hear the squeeching they make. Squeeching? The squealing they make. They're uh, quite high pitched audible devices. So that one's a lot brighter. I think that's enough of the, uh, the crazy light show. But I like these. I think they're really interesting. I thought maybe I could make a Christmas decoration out of them. Or perhaps I could just make some kind of wearable clothing. Lots of people have done stuff like this before. But the fact that you can run these via these inverters on two AA batteries is pretty awesome. And I think there was something like £3.50 each, which is great. Next up, we've got um, this little thing, which is an, an INA219 uh, current sense uh, module. So essentially, this is uh, a board that you would use in line with your power supply. And then you'd get the, uh, it's an I squared C device, and it would tell you what kind of current you were drawing. So, which is really nice that you'd be able to see the current your device is currently drawing. So I'll be planning to use that with the uh, Raspberry Pi and also with some Arduino projects, but I really like it. It looks, um, I don't know, it just looks really professional. <laughs> I saw Julian pick one up, uh, Julian Elet, I think that's how you say his name, I hope so. Uh, and I thought I need to try one of those. And the max current's 3.2 amps, I wouldn't draw anywhere near that. And you've got, uh, is that in focus? I can't really tell. Uh, and so you've got VCC logic as well as three to five volts. So it'll work with Raspberry Pi 2 to pull out the I squared C data. So that is exciting. Uh, very cheap as well, I think, only a couple of pounds. Next up is very cool. This is the chip, uh, the I don't <laughs> CHIP. I don't, it's from the next thing. It was a Kickstarter a while back. Um, and Geez Louise, did it take a long time to arrive. It was the $9 computer. Let's see if we can get into this. And it is miniature. It is really, really small. So it can be powered from a lithium cell and recharged on the board, which is great. Um, I can't remember all of the specs for this. I'll go over it in a separate video, but it also has a 3.5 millimeter jack on here. So that was gonna work out with this um, radio thing, but I started developing this because these were delayed. So 
I don't know if it will make it for that. It has no HDMI out or um, display really. I think it, it's possible it has uh, sort of an, uh, an AV out on the 3.5 millimeter jack, but I'm not sure. We'll go over this in another video. I just wanted to show you guys that it actually arrived. It's got an R8 all winner uh, CPU on there and some memory, but I can't read how much because there's a sticker over there. So next up, we've got some 3D filament that I've purchased. Um, I go through filament at quite an alarming rate. Uh, so sometimes I like to buy cheap filament um, and other times I like to buy a little bit more premium. I don't often go very premium. Um, there's this uh, company called Rigid Ink who sells some uh, PLA that I'd love to try out properly. I tried some of their uh, example. Example? No, it's like a sample pack you can buy or get for free. Um, so this one's uh, Excel Van. I've used them plenty of times. Really, really nice filament. Uh, I mean, I mean, it could be better. The color's not so great. Uh, but I bought uh, red and white, and they come on the same reel, so it's like a double thing, which is really nice. And the last one I got was some BQ filament. God, I really need to like move this camera out a little bit. Uh, but this is some. Ugh, you can't see it, can you? Because it's shit. Okay, so some nice yellow filament. And uh, I can't remember why I wanted yellow. I think it's just because I didn't have any. I think that's all it was. Anyway, the filament's not very important until I print something. So really no point showing you that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I will speak to you all soon.